So BBC is back in news. Now, uh, Delhi High Court summons BBC. That's the news. Let's first understand the nitty gritties. We'll understand the nitty gritties and then we'll spend two minutes uh, talking about it. Okay. So let's start with the nitty gritties. The Delhi High Court on May 22nd issued summons to British Broadcasting Corporation, that is BBC, on a defamation suit claiming its documentary casts a slur on the reputation of India, its judiciary and Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Now, they say that besides the BBC UK, Justice Sachin Data also issued notice to BBC India. So, UK ko bhi notice issue kiya, India ko bhi uh, notice issue kiya. Seeking its response on the suit filed by a Gujarat based NGO, uh, Justice for Trial. And uh, Har Salve, senior advocate appearing for the NGO, said that the suit for defamation against BBC is in relation to the documentary which has defamed India and the whole system including the judiciary which is what I told you before. Okay. Now the court has earlier issued summons to BBC, the Wikimedia Foundation and the US based digital library internet archives after Bharatiya Janata Party leader Binay Kumar Singh filed a suit seeking a permanent restraint order against the organization for broadcasting BBC series India the Modi question. Okay. So this was done before also to stop release, to stop broadcast, to restrain the, the agency from broadcasting and that is BBC, Wikimedia Foundation and US based digital library internet archives so that there is they, they, they restrain it from broadcasting in India. So this was done earlier on by by Binay Kumar Singh of uh, Bharatiya Janata Party. According to the complainant, Mr. Kumar, who is a state executive committee member of BJP in Jharkhand, the BBC series has defamed organizations like RSS, VHP and BJP themselves. Okay. Now, this is as far as BJP people are concerned. This is as far as the courts are concerned. Take it now. Let us view, understand what BBC has to say. Council appearing for BBC and Wikipedia info informed the court of additional district judge Ruchika Sing Singala that they are foreign entities who have not been served properly and are appearing under protest. They are appearing but under protest. They said that they have received the copies of the suit. There is something called as water boundary. Water boundary is uh, you are saying this, but what about when you do it? So when you do it, you don't say. When you when we do it, you say. So that is what a typical concept of water boundary. Now a lot of people who support uh, the government, the Bharatiya Janata Party, on this this uh, this documentary row they say what they they talk about what about re? they say are is british parliament is british system the most ideal system and you look at your system here there are so many flaws in your system have you spoken about that have you spoken about the atrocities that british has done across to almost every country in this world have you spoken about that is there a british story where you have said that you know you did this to india you did this to african countries you did this to uh, south africa you did Almost every country went through hell because of British, British colonialism. Have you done a story on that? That is one. Secondly, is everything fair in Britain? Is the press absolutely free to write what they want? Everything is ideal circumstances in Britain? No, actually not. Actually not. Does racism exist in Britain? Of course racism exists in Britain. Of course racism exists in Britain. Any, people, any person who have gone, lived or even travelled extensively in, in, in the United Kingdom, you will, will tell you that, yeah, to a certain extent, there is uh, racial uh, racialism that's happening in Britain. Have, has anybody spoken about it? Have you made a story about it? The answer is no. Okay. They, they have, you have not made a story about it. So is that fair? Is British Broadcasting Corporation therefore fair? Well, that's a question that one side of people ask. Now the other side of people say that, listen, you know what, two rights doesn't make a wrong, does it? Or, or rather, two wrongs doesn't make a right, my apologies. Two wrong doesn't make a right, does it? Yeah, he did it. 
So you also do it. He robs. So what? I also rob. Is that how you are going to function now? Is that fair? Is that even an argument? That is number one. Number two is uh, British Broadcasting Corporation is has got uh, has got uh, a lot of uh, credibility. Uh, you know, uh, raiding their offices. Uh, you know, uh, sending IT to their office and all of that. Was it necessary? Now you would say, "Are IT be jaye to kya? If there is, the, if they, have, if they, have, if they have wronged the government, if they have wronged the revenue department, IT will come." That is what a lot of people will say. But the fact is, look at the timing. Can the IT be timed in such a way that you release the documentary and then next week or after two weeks, IT come and read you? Doesn't the timing surprise us? If the timing is such. Which means that is it unfair to believe that the IT raid happened because of the documentary? Is it unfair to believe? If that is the case, then isn't the government trying to remove vengeance against uh, broadcasting media that uh, spoke about uh, something which the government doesn't like? Is that not how you would view it? You view, how you would view it? Somewhere down the line, are we looking at everything with the same lenses? Or do we have different lens for a, for one story and different lens for another story? That's the thought I would leave you with. Um, so this is our report on Delhi HC, Delhi High Court summons the British Broadcasting Corporation. Till I see you for my next report. Take care.